Traders, I'm going to take, uh, take off to the weekend. Done for the week. Uh, it is a green week for me. Small green week. Good feeling after last week, which I've been uh, in a small red week. So I'm going to finish up today just over $4,000. I had three green trades today. Uh, the $30 you're seeing here from in Boeing is just a leftover from yesterday. I did not trade Boeing today. But um, you can see Goldman Sachs and NVEX and uh, NVTA and just a short word about uh, all of them. If you take a look at Goldman Sachs, that was a very clear gap and go trade, which I followed as it first moved higher, then posted it for a short in the trading room before it hit the new low, took it for the short, and that worked out uh, real well. So Goldman Sachs worked out just as it should. And if you take a look at the S&P, which is still coming down, the initial move was down. I mean, we started 0.3 or 0.4% down. And right now we're down 1.3%. So it's turning to be a big down day. Anyway, market uh, came down. At that point when it moved lower, these are the first 15 minutes, uh, Goldman did most of the job as you can see here, which was exactly what you expect from stock that is relatively weak. First move up, take out the buyers, reverse, short it, hope it's going to continue down and Goldman did continue down. At that point, you can see that the S&P found some support here, quite a long support for like uh, 20 minutes or so. Now the reason, the main reason is what happened yesterday. Look at yesterday's high here. I mean, not the highs, but uh, look at yesterday's resistance here, which now became some sort of support. Plus, add to that the fact that the market moved down during the first 15 minutes. You expect some kind of a pullback after a big move down. And that was the pullback right at the point where it should have been because of yesterday's support. But then, you know, bear flag and we broke down under. At that point of the support, I thought it would be interesting to go long two stocks, which I thought that are relatively strong. And I'll take a look at, um, I mean, take a look at NVTA. Uh, actually, my first was uh, NVAX. If you look at NVAX, the intraday trigger was right here at $73. It came down really strong. I did not want to short it earlier. And that was mainly because of the daily. Because if you take a look at the daily of uh, NVAX, you can see that uh, the daily of NVAX is very, very strong. It moved up quite a lot. Now, when you have a, day where a stock that is moving up is just resting just like happened today because it's probably going to continue moving higher i mean the next few days but when a stock is moving up that much it's likely to pull back but remember when a stock that is so strong pulling back down there's a lot of buyers who are still interested in finding the lows finding it uh, after a pullback and buying it so people are thinking in two ways one let's take some profits and that and it really did come down quite a lot so there was certainly some profit taking here uh, a lot of people who made a lot of money on the vax took some profits here i did not expect it to come down so strong but once it did come down so strong i expected the pullback to be interesting i went long relatively small size as you can see here i'm up like one thousand dollars and i'm still riding just a very small size so anyway you can see that uh, those who missed the part in nvax or those who are already long nvx are in fact buying some more because there's no other way you can explain the way it came down from the lows that much now if you take a look at uh, nvta nvta looks quite the same if you look at the daily so here's the daily big upside move this one already rested i mean two days ago or three days ago so the rest was here this red candle over here and then it's again likely to continue higher it started strong today so you can see that it started very strong today but then came down when the market came down so take a look at what happened in the s p take a look at how nvta really gave up to the market and came down so again you would expect some people who saw it coming down from the highs to average their loss, Let's just imagine people who went long here, they're averaging the loss, meaning buying some more. You expect a move up. Um, however, this one comes with relatively low volume, and therefore the move up was relatively quick. So I posted this one over 23, 25. Uh, my last uh, 400 shares are at the 
uh, entry price over here. But uh, nevertheless, it was a nice uh, $800 winner. Again, did not take a lot of size. Uh, the market still coming down. That was a counter trend trade. But in a stock that if you look at the daily, looks like it's rather strong and could move higher. So both this one and NVEX did very well. Now the market's moving down strong. So I don't think it's a good idea now to remain to hold anything for the long side when the market's coming down that way. But again, right now the S&P is a bit extended to the downside. You could expect some kind of a pullback, especially go back to yesterday and you can see that there is some kind of support here. So that was my day, my last uh, trading session for the week. I'm nicely green and green for the week, small green for the week. Um, and thank you very much for joining. I'll see you all next week. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks a lot. Bye, traders. Thank you for watching our video. The material was taken from The Market Whisperer, my Amazon best-selling book. This essential guide to stock trading is ideal for those with no background or experience in stock trading. Click here to read the 200 page part one of this book absolutely free. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.